Okay, this is epilogue AI break. It's kind of random. Hopefully it works the first time. Um, the randomness comes with a particular ledge warp where, um, as far as I can tell, the game just has a random chance of crashing. Your entire PS3 crashes, actually. Um, anyway, so when you load in here, um, first of all, you want to skip this platforming because we want to keep our ledge storage at 000. So just jump under it like this. And then climb up this next bit like that. Um, then we want to ledge warp from this beam. Um, it seems like you can do both the left and the right sides. However, I found the right side to be more consistent but it could be placebo i really don't know so try to do a ledge warp here and well it crashed all right i'll edit the video and edit this out there we go okay so uh once you do the ledge warp you just want to buffer a forward input so just before the ledge warp is about to start hold forward and you'll end up here um as for the crashing itself so i think it tends to crash less if you press new game instead of loading a save however i've i have had it crash with that as well um also it seems like loading a save file that you've created recently rather than in a different game instance also seems to make the chances better but all of these things could be placebo um these are just things that i've observed in my few attempts of doing this anyway you'll end up here then you wanna jump in that direction and just mash jump and What's going to happen is this fight is not going to load. The reason for that is because we've skipped all that platforming there. And when we're in that far right corner, um, there's a trigger which makes Elika go forward. So she's currently stuck back there. Um, since we skipped the trigger which makes her go forward, she will continue being stuck back there as we enter this fight. And just like in the base game, the fight will not trigger um so anyway jump forward and then just mash jump once then you end up here and you can enter this fight unfortunately there's not much we can do from here on as far as i can tell but i still wanted to document it so uh we need to get past this door but as far as i can tell there's no way of doing that however we have skipped the fight as well as unlocking the double jump ability by doing this 